Hi everyone and welcome back. Today's video is going to go through how to set up the integration between Edpuzzle and Blackboard on campus. So the first thing that you're going to do once you've logged into Edpuzzle is you are going to go up here to your little settings menu and then you are going to click on your name. Now I have to stress that this is something that your BlackBod um, administrator needs to do. This is not something that a regular teacher can do. So if you are not a BlackBod administrator, you can just forward this video on to them. Okay, then you're going to click over here on School. And you can scroll down and you can see it says here LMS LTI integration. So you're going to go ahead, click on that. I'm going to go down here to Blackboard. Make sure you don't accidentally click on Blackboard. Then it's going to give me these codes right here. These are unique to my particular school. You'll have your own unique ones. So just kind of hold on to these. The next thing you're going to do is go up into your on campus, log into core and you're going to want to go into your settings and then go down to integration settings. Once you've done that, you're going to go up to learning tools. Click on that. And then you want to add a provider. So when you click the drop down, you're not going to see it in here. So you're going to choose other provider. And then the name, I'm going to call it Edpuzzle. It's going to be an active integration. And I can kind of leave things as is. Uh, I think I should be able to, I'm going to say, I'm going to click on both of these, especially assignments because I want it to be able to return grades and bring grades back into, into things. And then I'm going to say save. Okay, now I can go back in here and edit this. Okay, let me go back in and edit this because I forgot to do one thing here. I want to scroll down here and I want to click credential type and click on fix. So the launch URL is edpuzzle slash LTI slash assignments slash launch. I'll put that, um, let me, I'll try to put that down in the description for you so you can copy and paste it. Then I'm going to go up and grab my consumer key. So just copy that. Oops, paste it in the wrong spot. Paste that in the consumer key. Then delete that from here. I'm going to go up and grab my shared secret and copy that. Put that there and go ahead and press save. Now I should be all set up. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. My email is in the description box down below or leave a comment and I'd be happy to get back to you. If there's anything else that you are interested in, leave me a comment about that as well. And as always, stay techie.